Hi, I'm Joni Petrie and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, today I want to talk about Jupiter and Rahu and how they're going to be in a mutual trying to each other and what that can mean for you and how you can take this as a wonderful opportunity. So before I start, I do want to make reference that I am starting my University of Vedic Astrology in January, and it's not too late for you to come on in February. So check that out. And if you've always wanted to learn Vedic Astrology, this is the answer. I think you'll definitely get a feel for that when you look at the website, which is universityofvedicastrology.com. And don't forget, sign up for my free newsletter on my website, which is galacticcenter.org. And while you're there, check out my beautiful new jewelry, which I'm selling malas. This is one of my favorites, the pearl mala and beautiful jewelry that represents our spiritual knowingness. So with that, let's get going talking about what is this mutual aspect between Jupiter and Rahu that's going to be happening the month of February. Let's see, it will be happening February 26th through the 27th. This will be when they are exactly in a trinal aspect, 120 degrees between each other. This is a lucky aspect, a trine. And when I think about Jupiter and when I think about Rahu, they're both about expansion and wealth. So, I'm predicting that this will be a rise in the stock market. Now, let me, let me further say I am not a financial advisor. I'm an astrologer. So take this information, use it properly. But, you know, there's some variance with, with these energies about what they could actually mean. But just doing my research... I did a research project a while back where in my book, How to Make Money Using Astrology, you can find it on Amazon, I have a complete chapter on lottery winners. And the aspect that I found to be the most relevant and common was that lottery winners had the transit of Jupiter and Rahu somehow aspecting their chart in a positive way. And it was either Jupiter was trying Rahu or Rahu was trying Jupiter. It was always about that. So Jupiter is about opportunities and its growth and expansion. Rahu is bigger than life and expands things to an extreme. So I have found in the past when they did form this aspect that things did expand and grow in the economy and the stock market. So I'm going to bet that they're probably going to cause this to happen again. Another variant that I think is really important, they're both in earth signs. Earth signs are about money, gains, and prosperity on a materialistic level. Don't forget Rahu is materialistic things. So this has to be a time when everything comes to a peak. I think this is going to be an amazing peak with the stock market. Now we know that the economy has been really distraught. So many businesses have had to fold. I mean, restaurants, um, hospitality, so many businesses that, you know, depend on people going to them are not doing well. And this is having its toll and stress on the economy. So I'm thinking this is the last hurrah because I believe that once Jupiter goes into Aquarius, which happens April 5th, and remember I am talking about the sidereal Vedic uh, charts here. I'm not talking about Western astrology. 
But once Jupiter leaves Capricorn and goes into Aquarius, it separates from Saturn. And Saturn being left behind in the sign of Capricorn all by itself is definitely going to start causing restrictions and lows and economic problems. Saturn is restrictions. And yes, there's going to be a lot more restrictions coming about because of this aspect. So what I got to say is make it while you can, because this is sort of like the last hurrah. I've told some of my clients, it kind of reminds me this aspect and what's going on, like with the stock market that is, like 1999, that was when everything was at its top. But then soon after, it all went down. And I think when all goes down this time, it's not gonna rebound like it did in March right after that crash in March of 2020, March 31st. This is gonna be slower, but I will say this, when everything does go down, it is always an opportunity to invest in the stock market. It's just you're gonna to have to sit on it longer, probably about a couple of years. But it's still a time when things, you know, when you hit bottom, there's only one way to go, and that's up. But this is an important opportunity for everyone. I've been waiting for this aspect. I've been telling everyone that this time towards the end of February is the most exciting and everything comes to a peak, but it's probably because of the stimulus packages that are being presented that causes this one last boost to where everything's going. And I want to say that once all of this starts to settle in and everything starts to go down, I do think that the trend will again be, as it's been rising to cryptocurrency, and I believe that this aspect here will make cryptocurrency rise. As a matter of fact, I was looking at the chart for Bitcoin that I use and I did see an amazing rise. Yes, now, but I think it's going to rise even better at this point in time, around February 22nd through February till the end of February. Yes. And here's the thing, if you have any planets around 21 or 22 degrees in your chart of 21, 22 degrees of Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, it is a time to invest because you will have specific planets in your birth chart being aspected by this trine. If in Virgo, it will create a grand trine in your chart. If in Taurus, you will have, Ju you will have Rahu conjoining with Jupiter trining. And if it is in Capricorn, you will have Jupiter sitting there with Rahu aspecting it. So those are the lucky degrees. Check it out, look at your chart and if you have that, it is a good time to invest. And one thing I always tell all of my clients, always listen to your gut, your gut feeling, because it's never wrong. The problem is people can confuse their mind with their gut feeling. When you get that twinge, that feeling in the gut, it's right. But realize right after you get it, then you start rationalizing. So oh, that can't be. This is what's going on in the world. No, this can't happen. But it's always right. So I want you to pay attention to that. But look and see. Now things that are going to be rising are going to be pretty much everything. And one thing I will tell you that I think is going to go up, which will be a big surprise because this new... Uh, presidential regime is taking things away from uh, oil and gas. 
but that's what makes the prices go up when they stop the drilling then it's then we don't have this over surplus and i looked at the transits in the summer of 2021 and mars will be opposing neptune which now while the prices of oil and gas are low they will rise and like i said this could this could vary but astrologically that's where i think it's going to go and I know many of you and most of you want this world to be cleaner and, and clean it up. But here's another thing. Maybe not in terms of, of gasoline for our cars. But we, in our lifetime, oil will not go away because it's used for many other things besides uh, gasoline for cars. And that demand is not going to go away. So pay attention. This could be some valuable information that can really help you financially. So with that, I'd like to close. If you would like more information on me, a reading, you can go to my website, which is galacticcenter.org. Or remember always to check out my university. Learn how to make these predictions with the economy. Learn how I do this. And you can learn that through joining my university, which is go to the website, universityofvedicastrology.com. Thank you.